Hello, we are going to be doing the tutorial for the three structures seen in the optional section of the Gaussian lab manual. The first structure is O2. So we're going to be changing the default element from carbon to oxygen. We're going to change, select the oxygen fragment to be this one in the middle. We're going to click onto our screen and we have an oxygen atom with two double bond. Now we're going to click at the end of those two double bond and attach another oxygen atom. And this is how we create O2. To do the calculation for this one, we'll hit Calculate, Gaussian Calculation Setup. We're going to change the job type to optimization method, now to semi-empirical. But for this spin, we're going to actually do a triplet because the ground electron state for O2 is a triplet. And we're going to proceed with the calculation similar to how everything else has been done. So our next structure is H2O2. So we're going to click on this icon and change the oxygen fragment back to the default which is this. So we see the atom here with one oxygen and two hydrogen, which is water. So we're going to click on, on one of the hydrogen atom and change it to oxygen. And now we have H2O2. This H2O2 is planar, but H2O2 is non-planar to the hyperconfusion effect. So to change that, we're going to click on this icon, click on all the elements, and a screen will pop up allowing us to rotate the groups. And as we rotate, we can see the groups moving and now it's no longer planar. The last structure we'll be creating will be O3 ozone. So we'll be clicking the atom onto the screen and we once again have oxygen with two hydrogen atom. We're going to click onto this icon and change it to an oxygen atom for the oxygen fragment. We're going to click on each of the hydrogen atoms and change it to 